I said, now, meet me in the mall. It's going down. Meet me in the club. It's going down. Meet me in the drive. It's going down. Anywhere you meet me, just know I'm going to be eating. Boy, if you don't... Magician. It's your boy Locker back with it again with another reaction. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and ring that bell. Without their amazing magic tricks, but there is always the curiosity to figure out the tricks. So, be it Darcy Oak's famous dove illusion or Stevie Pink's amazing levitation act. Hello and welcome back. And today we are gonna unlock the most famous magic secrets from Britain's Got Talent show. So. Let's get started. The first trick, Darcy Oak's famous dove act. Magicians have been performing the classical dove hey, that's tough. for centuries. Hey, I, I think I know how to do something like that. Perfected it better than Darcy <laughs> it's Oak. Like... If you know Darcy Oak, then you might very well remember his amazing dove illusions, which he performed on Britain's Got Talent show. Here's what he did. First, he takes out a feather, burns it, and magically gets a dove from that bird. Oh, no, he shouldn't be able to do this trick. He, he shouldn't be able to just burn pigeons. Like, oh, no, he, now he bring it too. Oh, heck, nah. This so dude, he need to be stopped. Another bird using a burning feather, he gets an egg from that bird, and from the egg, gets a bird again. But now comes the tricky part. He takes out a paper, burns it, and pulls out a cage out of nowhere. And even more so, he converts that cage with a bird inside it into its exact replica. But there's more to his performance. In the last part of his magic tricks, he covers the bird cage placed on the table. Then all of a sudden, a girl comes. This out man turning pigeon to birds, birds to pigeon, pigeon to cages. So what? This man is tripping. Once. Well, let's figure out the secret. To start off, he shows a small feather before lighting it off. Now this feather is made out of a special type of paper known as flash paper. Flash paper is very commonly used by magicians in their magic tricks to create quick large flashes of fire, to hide out the quick moments that create illusion to keep the audience guessing. So what did Darcy Oak use the flash paper for? Using the chance of a quick flash of fire, Darcy gets a hold of an invisible thread connected to the dove and pulls out the dove from his left hand's secret sleeve pocket, all in a fraction of a second. Now to transform that bird into two, you must have guessed it by now. Yes, he has another bird. I keep them birds in my pocket and talking about birds. Frame, where he seems to get a hold of another invisible thread, which is connected to the bird in that pocket. He then pulls it out and keeps one dove behind the other and creates the illusion of transforming it into two. Moving on, where did that egg in that small bird come from? Well, if you look closely, he already has an egg in his hand which he must have got from one of his jacket pockets before it gets dropped in his other hand. Also, there's no bird coming out of the egg, it's all coming straight from Darcy's pockets. If we take a close look, we can see that Darcy turned towards the left, and during this moment, he hides the position of his left hand and gets a small bird in that hand. Then he covers his left hand with the other hand, which has an empty eggshell. Here you can clearly see the tail end of the bird. And to get that bird, he simply cracks open the eggshell and drops it on the floor, which can be clearly seen in slow motion. Thus making the illusion of getting a small bird from an egg. Now, to bring that small cage, if you look closely, you'll see that Darcy positions his right hand at his back for a moment. And it's during this moment that he hides the folding cage somewhere inside his right hand sleeve. Now, using the momentum of the quick flash fire discussed before, he brings out that folding cage and instantaneously transforms it. Oh, okay, cage. okay. Nice one, my guy. The bird then moves nice one. Cage, and Darcy then brings out an exact replica of that cage with a bird inside. Even for this part of the trick, he brings out a folding cage from his back and using a quick flash fire, transforms it into a bigger one and creates an illusion that shocks everyone. Now, you must be thinking, how come another bird appears inside the cage? For this, he uses a folding cage with a bird already fitted inside it, as you can see here. And that bird you see is a fake one and not real, which you can make out by observing carefully that it never moves. 
Finally, to end the trick, he gets a girl out of the cage placed on the table. Yeah, now this is what everybody want to know. Yeah, this is what you're here for, First, fool. He covers the cage with a piece of black cloth. And, as you can see here, the size of the cage seems to be much longer than it actually is, when seen by the audience from the front side. Yes, the cage is a gimmick. And the gimmick's that the cage placed on the table actually has two compartments. The front one, which has the cage that's clearly visible, and the back compartment was the space where the girl was hiding throughout the magic since the start of the show. Mm, 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 and mm, only came mm, out mm, at the mm, end mm, to surprise us all. The second trick, Stevie Star, the Regurgitator. If you know anything about the art of regurgitation, then Stevie Star is the name that first pops up in mind. Well, that's because he can swallow anything. Be it coins, light bulbs, balloons, nails, billiard balls, and even goldfish. And then and we just go say them. pause. Now that's a fear factor act in which people put all sorts of insects, spiders, and even frogs inside their mouth. But this trick performed on Britain's Got Talent is one notch higher. The magician performed a trick in which he first swallows Amanda's engagement ring. Then he gives her a padlock and tells her to lock the padlock and put it inside his mouth. She then follows it up by putting its key inside his mouth. And obviously, Stevie swallows both the locked padlock and its key separately. Now comes the real magic. He regurgitates the padlock, and what do we see? The padlock now has Amanda's engagement ring enclosed, and later, he follows it up by regurgitating the key as well. Hey, why that man like so a straight frog? <laughs> make that ring enclosed within the Boy, what's wrong with that man? inside his stomach. Well, before revealing the secret, if of our new and make sure you subscribe, like, now, comment, and hit that secret. bell. Since and Steve and tell me what y'all want me to do next. Yes, which sir. Means he's very good in swallowing and bringing back things from inside his stomach, which takes years of practice to master and control the stomach muscles. And we should not try this at home. Also, just before this trick, he did swallow a light bulb, hold it inside his stomach's esophagus before releasing it back in place. But this one's tricky, as it involves the locking and unlocking of different stuff, and that's impossible to manipulate all inside his stomach. So, to make this part possible, he didn't lock or unlock anything inside his stomach. It was an illusion. Now, if you look closely, after Stevie took Amanda's ring, during this moment, he secretly puts that ring into another padlock which he conceals from the audience, and this forms the critical part of the trick. And here, it's not just the ring, but also that hidden padlock enclosing her ring which he puts into his mouth and swallows it. Thereafter, he never swallowed the padlock and the key, taken from Amanda. He only stored them inside his mouth. Finally, he regurgitates that hidden padlock enclosing Amanda's ring, and then spits out the key stored in his mouth to unlock her ring, thus creating this amazing illusion. It might be an illusion, but his trick low-key real. So finally, like, this dude actually swallowed the stuff and bring it back up. Stevie Pink's floating Pause. <laughs> Pause. You all must have watched a magic trick which involves a pretty lady floating in mid-air. But this trick, performed by Stevie Pink, has somewhat more mystifying elements than the classic ones. Here, he places a lady on a pink table and makes her float in mid-air. He then removes the table and makes her levitate all around him. That's then, tough. He takes a hula hoop I to do straight hold. Nothing in between. So, how did he make her float in mid-air? Well, here's the secret. For this whole act to work, it requires a mechanism which would be controlled by a power source which is placed somewhere inside this tall table. After Stevie places the lady onto the plank table, he starts on the fan facing upwards. Here, he was quite smart to convince everyone that a power source was required to start the fan which will lift her up. But actually, he needed that power source not for the fan, but for the mechanism known as Jack, which is a device for lifting heavy objects. See, I told you he was fake, boy. Y'all talking about that was tight. Heck no, nah, little dude. Straight now, fake. This black board is what I hides think. the jack, which is necessary for the illusion to work. He then stands in between the board and the table at just the right place, where his body now comes in front and replaces the black board to hide the jack. Also, if you observe carefully, he brings an assistant to remove the table. Here, another person was required because if Stevie had moved from his place, that the audience would have seen the hidden jack behind his body. 
Now, to float that lady all around in mid-air, the hidden mechanism involves that jack connected to a strong support base under the lady using the support arms. Here, the support arms are hidden behind Stevie's arms and body. Also, Stevie has a switch which controls the whole mechanism. In this frame, if you see carefully as his right arm was way too low, you can even see the pink support arm. Now, this figure will show how the mechanism works and what's actually behind the pink table. He stands in between the jack and the lady. The lady is held in mid-air by a support arm around Stevie's body. After floating the lady 360 degrees, Stevie uses a hula hoop. So, how did he then move that hula hoop around? Well, that's a good question, but the answer lies in the S-shaped design of the support rod. It can easily move the ring to the end and repeat back the movement to get to the exit. So, there's no magic at all, it's just an illusion. Boy, stop playing with me, boy, that is so guys, magic. Hope you got the On secrets me. behind Britain's Got Talent's greatest magic tricks. Which trick was your favorite one? But and name any other video topics like you would game, like us to create. Tell like us in the in. comments below. Please tell me what y'all want me to do next. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Hey, and stay locked in. And remember, stay locked in. Get the link in the description below to get the new merch. It's always coming out. I got shirts, hoodies, hats, even tobacco trays. Let's go. Stay locked in. DM. Let's go.